Hello, students, and welcome to U.S. Latin American Relations. I am Professor Leah Walton. Um, you all may address me as Professor Walton, Miss Walton, or Profe, whichever is um, the most comfortable for you all. Um, I am really excited about spending this semester with you all. Um, just a note, I have two sections of this class. So what you're seeing right now is the syllabus for my 208 section, but the syllabus for my 209 section is the same. So um, you're getting all of the information that you need regardless of which section of mine you are in. So don't be concerned about that. Um, I just wanted to take uh, a few minutes to review the syllabus with you all, um, tell you guys a little bit about some of the assignments. Um, we'll get more in depth into all of these things later and just kind of give you a brief little overview of what you need to do for this week. Um, and we will go from there. All right. So here at the top is all of my contact information. Um, here's my email address. Um, I don't have any set office hours. Um, you can send me a message. Um, I prefer to get my messages through Canvas. Um, that way uh, I can um, keep track of everything that you send me. Um, and I can easily see which class of mine you're in because um, it's going to take me a while to place you all. Um, it's even harder um, online. Um, so uh, just send me an email and I've got pretty open availability. I'm a busy person, so I need some advance notice, but I'm not like I'm only I'm available generally at any time um, throughout the day and I can even do some weekend hours if that becomes necessary for some of you. Um, this course is just designed to give you an introduction to international relations between the United States and Latin America um, and how we study um, those international relations. Um, so we're going to be looking at how the United States has historically viewed Latin America and how Latin America has historically viewed the United States and reacted to the United States. Um, I am going to be using uh, your textbook is an international relations textbook and so I will be discussing um, theories of international relations, but my particular discipline is history. And so we will also be looking at US Latin American relations from a historical perspective. And not only will we be looking at like large diplomatic um, negotiations and decisions, but we'll also be looking at themes that include race, economic development, neo-imperialism um, and social movements. Um, you don't need a foreign language for this class. You don't need any prior knowledge of US history or Latin American history. I'll try to give you enough context so that the material in general makes sense to you. Um, if you need a little more support in these areas, please reach out. I'm happy to help. Um, <clears throat> so during this course, you'll be introduced to the political history of US Latin American relations as an overview. Um, and we'll discuss uh, theoretical concepts and methodologies that scholars use to study US Latin American relations. Um, we're gonna work on analyzing secondary sources, so scholarly peer reviewed sources, as well as primary sources, so sources from the um, time period from people who were involved. Um, and we're also going to work on your skills and research um, and your ability to create and argue um, a research question in the field of US Latin American relations. So the textbook for this semester is US and Latin American Relations by Gregory B. Weeks. Um, if you have not had a chance to get the textbook, please reach out to me and go ahead and let me know. Um, but you should be trying to get this book ASAP. Um, there is a first edition. You will be missing some information um, if you use that book. Um, you're welcome to try. Um, <laughs> but it, you will be missing some of the um, information pretty much from the Obama administration on. Um, so, so you may find that um, difficult. 
you may find some of the assignments difficult without the correct edition. Um, my, so here is your grading criteria. These are the assignments and how much they will count towards your final grade. Um, we'll spend the first half of the semester working on a secondary source analysis paper. Um, and all of the activities, all the prep work and the paper itself are worth 20% of your grade. So this is a big deal. Um, for the paper, you're going to be asked to choose one of the book chapters that I have assigned um, for this class um, and analyze the argument, what types of sources this author used, um, how strong their argument was, and what kind of contribution they make to the literature on US Latin American relations. Now, if this sounds overwhelming to you right now, don't worry, because we've got five little activities throughout the semester, these secondary source um, analysis activities um, that will cover these different, uh, that will help you get through these different components of the paper and give you a chance to get feedback um, from me so that you can feel more confident when you sit down to draft the paper. You'll also submit a draft that will get comments both from me and um, a fellow student in a peer review. Um, and then you'll submit your final paper. Um, but we'll be working on this from now until the midterm and you'll be getting lots of feedback from me. Um, so I do expect most of you to do very well on these papers, okay? Your second big semester project, also worth 20% of your grade, is a current events op-ed project. I highly recommend um, that each of you kind of start thinking about this as soon as you can, what you might be interested in researching. Um, it will need to be a topic in U.S. Latin American relations. It has to have that international relations component. Um, and it needs to be a current event. So since I'm, I'm going to limit it to the year 2000 on. Um, but I will also be helping you throughout the second half of the semester to complete this project through a topic proposal, an annotated bibliography, a draft, and a peer review, all designed to both give you credit for the prep work and also to get you lots of feedback from me. Your weekly assignments are going to be in your course modules. There are 13 of these in total, and they contain key concept quizzes, which are based on assigned readings from your textbook, and they're designed just to check that you're understanding um, key terms and kind of some of the key concepts that are introduced in the chapter. These are identification and multiple choice questions. Um, your short answer quizzes are associated with the secondary source readings that I'm giving you, the book chapters that I'm giving you. Um, these will take a little bit more time and a little bit more work than your key concept quizzes. Um, and then you also have module activities for which you'll be asked to analyze a film, you'll be asked to analyze a podcast, you'll be asked to analyze a primary source of some kind. Um, and then your final two course components are a midterm exam, which will be which will cover mostly the information from your key concept quizzes and your short answer quizzes. Um, from the first half of the semester, your final exam will cover information from your key concept quizzes and short answer quizzes only for the second half of the semester. It's not a comprehensive final exam. So that's um, a little bit easier, right? I hope uh, that that helps you guys out just a little bit. I'm operating on a 10 point grading scale. Um, I will probably have to revise the syllabus at some point. Things are just so crazy. Um, and I know you guys are watching the university change policies and change things at the last minute. Well, the same thing is happening to us. And just with everything that's going on, um, I may need some flexibility for you. I promise, promise, promise that I will let you know um, as soon as I can if I'm having to change anything um, regarding your assignments or due dates or anything of that nature. Um, just be aware that once I've made an announcement, you guys are responsible for that information. Um, so make sure you're keeping up with those. Uh, we do have some group work 
uh, you guys really need to, like when you're interacting with one another or with me, um, please, please, please maintain respectful tones. Um, I know that over email, sometimes we sound different than we intend. Um, I, I try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. I hope that you'll do the same um, with me, but please feel free um, to let me know if something I have said or done makes you feel disrespected. Um, also, let me know if you encounter that um, from another student in the class. I will be, um, and I'll show you how to like find this information, letting you guys know if you have other students working on the same chapter that you are for your secondary source analysis paper. And I'll probably with the current events, let you guys know if you have other people working on similar projects. Now, this doesn't mean that you guys should copy each other. I just think it is helpful to have um, sometimes to have some students to talk about the work with um, and also to, you know, kind of share like sources and tips with. So um, I do encourage you all to do that. Um, just know that I am still here if you encounter any issues. Um, please let me know. Pay very close attention to what I am about to say. Because of the pandemic and just how unstable everyone's lives are right now, um, I have a very flexible due date policy. I've done this because it makes life a little bit easier for me and a little bit easier for you. And here's how this works. There's a due date listed on Canvas for every assignment. Canvas, um, those assignments, though, after that due date will remain open for another week. You may submit that assignment within that week before the assignment closes with no late penalty. But I won't accept that assignment once it's closed, unless you have some sort of very extenuating circumstance. And those you need to let me know of. ASAP. So say we have the quiz due Thursday, you can turn it in until next Thursday and get full credit for it. Um, even it, Don't worry if Canvas tells you it's late. Um, that's Canvas. That's not me. Um, Canvas will not mark you down and I will not mark you down. I don't know how to turn that off. Um, and I kind of like that it pops on because it does show you, okay, hey, you're a little behind the course schedule. So it keeps you, uh, keeps you kind of on your toes. I do have a few exceptions to this policy. I will not accept late peer reviews. That is because your fellow students are relying on those um, to edit their work. And so it's it would be unfair to them if I allowed someone to submit their peer review late. So I will not accept a late peer review. I will also not accept late midterms or final exams. So give yourself plenty of time before you take those exams. We'll talk about this again to like get in there and get them done before they, they lock you out. Okay. For feedback, I'll usually get feedback to you within a week. Um, your larger papers will probably take me a little bit more time. So like your secondary source analysis paper may take a bit more time just because it's a larger assignment. So um, bear with me. Um, if you have any questions about your grade or whether or not I've graded something or if you think I've graded something um, unfairly, please, please, please reach out to me. Um, I'm willing to discuss grades with anyone. Um, you can also reach out to me if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling lost. Um, I can help you kind of strategize what the most important um, assignments are for you to complete to bring your grade up as high as we possibly can. Um, I understand this is a difficult time and we're all just doing the best that we can. Um, I will not, I, I will not judge any of you for doing just the best that you can. Okay. We're all in this together. Um, make sure you're submitting original work. Please, please, please do not copy directly out of a book off of my lecture slides or off of a website to answer questions. I will know. Um, be sure that where I've asked you to provide citations that you are doing so and you are doing so sufficiently. 
Often I find that students are committing plagiarism without realizing it because they are not citing the ideas they're pulling from a text as well as the quotes. Um, I run all of your assignments except your quiz, your key concept quizzes through the plagiarism detector. Do not be alarmed if it says 64% and that 64% is you copying the questions for the assignment. I will make sure that I look at what the, um, what the plagiarism detector is pointing out. Um, and my general philosophy on this is to give you um, the benefit of the doubt, unless it looks very glaring. So you'll probably get a warning from me first. Um, and I expect many of you will hear, hi, you're missing in-text citations. Um, please be careful about this. It's just part of my job, uh, helping you build your skills. So please don't ever feel like I'm accusing you of, of anything. Um, if I am doing so, you won't, you will absolutely know. <laughs> I hope we can avoid that this semester. <clears throat> um, discrimination of anyone based on color, race, ethnicity, religion, gender, um, national origin, ethnicity, a disability, a veteran status, or any other reason is not acceptable in this class. If you feel that you're being discriminated against by any of your fellow classmates, please reach out to me. I will make sure that I handle this for you. Another important issue um, are things such as stalking, sexual violence, gender harassment, and dating and domestic violence. If you are encountering, encountering any of these problems, living through any of these experiences, please reach out for help. Know that you can come to me. Um, as a faculty member, I am required to report um, any um, instances of such things as stalking, sexual or gender violence, harassment. Um, so please, please, please be aware of that. If that's something you're uncomfortable with, don't hesitate to get help. These are some places that you can go that have um, a little more wiggle room as far as maintaining your, um, your confidentiality. Religious accommodation, since this is an asynchronous course, I hope that you're able to kind of plan around any religious holidays that you may encounter, but please just let me know um, if you need any kind of acceptance for this. Of course, I will grant it. Um, here is the university policy on grievances, withdrawals, and incompletes. Um, disability support services. If you need disability accommodations, get me a note, get me a letter as soon as possible so that I can make sure you're getting um, all the time that you need um, for your quizzes and any other help that you might need. Um, also, uh, it's always a good idea to kind of like shoot me an email and just sort of um, make sure um, that I'm and, and always check on your quizzes and everything just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm only human. Um, and I promise it would never be just because I didn't care. It, it would just be because I made a mistake. So don't ever hesitate to tell me if you need something like this. Um, here, I also have a list of other services. Um, these are services um, for you know, discrimination, for helping you study, for helping you get organized, for helping you with your writing skills, for assisting veterans, um, for borrowing laptops and all sorts of things. Um, so please don't hesitate to take advantage of these services on campus. Your fees are paying for them, so use them. Um, finally, I want to address food insecurity and houselessness. This is a growing um, problem among university students. Um, it's a systemic issue. It is not the personal um, fault of anyone experiencing either houselessness or um, food insecurity. So if you are experiencing things like hunger, um, a lack of variety in your diet, a reduced quality of food or reduced caloric intake, um, please, please, please be sure to use the resources such as the food pantry on, canvas, or on campus um, to make sure that you're 
getting a healthy, well-balanced, full diet. Um, you need that for your brain to work properly. You'll never do your best work and achieve what you're, what you're capable of if you're not getting enough food. The same is true of houselessness. Um, please reach out to me. Don't be ashamed. Um, they, there are a lot of faculty members and staff on campus that are working on these issues and would have resources um, that I could help get you in touch with um, to help improve your situation. Everybody needs a little help sometimes. And um, with the economic crisis and the pandemic, I'm sure many more of you um, are, are kind of experiencing some of these things. And, you know, this class is kind of one of the few um, interactive spaces we're going to have probably for the next couple months. And so I, I'd like you all to, to feel free um, to reach out for help in these areas if you need them, okay? Um, I will go more into detail about your specific assignments since I don't wanna take up too much of your time um, today, but here, you have rubrics and descriptions all available for you. Down at the bottom of the syllabus is your course schedule. You're, you'll notice that your modules are set up with whatever activity it is. So here's your, the module lecture is this. Um, and then you'll read the first chapter and you'll complete key concept quiz one. And that is due Thursday, January 21st. Of course, the assignment will be open until the 28th and you may submit it until then, right? Um, so, and then you'll also have your module activity one. I'll pull that up for you and go over it a little bit more um, in just a second when we go over the Canvas page. I do wanna point out that there are some assignments like your secondary source analysis activities um, and your large assignments like drafts and final papers and midterms that are not within the modules. And so make sure you're not missing these on the, um, on the syllabus as you're going through. All right. All right, so that's the syllabus and I'm gonna flip over to the Canvas page. I've got you up in student view. So I'm. this is what it should look like for you. Um, I apologize, that was a phone call and this is the second time I have tried to record this lecture. So I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> I apologize to you all for that interruption. Um, so here's the home page. You have a right here, there's a link to the syllabus, but you can also access the syllabus here. Interesting. I need to fix that. It looks like I haven't put your syllabus up, but here you can see all of the assignments and when they're due in a like chronological list that may be more easy for you guys. Um, to to read than the syllabus so you have that option um i do want you to look here at announcements every announcement i make will be saved so a good way to make sure you're not missing anything is just to check in announcements every time you come in and see if there's something new um discussions we only have the one discussion forum that's in your first module which you can get to by clicking on modules if you want to know a little bit more about me, I have a little more about me in the instructor message. Feel free to ask questions. Um, all of the activities and rubrics for um, your secondary source um, paper are available here in this module for your current events op-ed project. They're available here in this module. I wanted you guys to have very advanced notice of what these activities look like. Um, here is your first module for this week. So introduction to the study of US Latin American relations. As I said, key concept quiz one is um, just a way to make sure that you're picking up everything in the first chapter of the week's textbook. Um, and then you also have a module activity due this Sunday. Your module activity that's due on Sunday is to introduce yourself. So please give me um, as much information for each of these questions as you're willing to give. The more I know um, about you guys, the easier it will be to place you all. Um, also, um, I'm asking you to choose which book chapter. These are the choices that I have. 
offering. Um, and I, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm getting like a bunch of emails coming in at me and I'm just, I apologize for that. Um, I do need to um, look at this one. Okay, yeah, but this is your, um, but just you can check on these, see what they're kind of about um, and make a decision for me. I'm gonna let you pick which one we're gonna get started working on um, the analysis next week. Um, and I think that that is all that I really need for you all to see right now. Um, so please shoot me any questions or comments you have. I'm gonna fix um, the syllabus for the section that I seem to have not gotten the syllabus uploaded for. I guess I forgot to hit save, I apologize for that. Um, and um, I'm going to get to work on making sure you have everything you need for next week. So thank you so much. I'm looking forward to the semester with you all. Have a great day. Bye.